Hello teachers, today I want to give you some tips and tricks for setting up the NWEA for your class. The first thing you will do is go to Google Chrome, your internet browser, and you will put in the tcaps-admin.mapnwea.org website. I already have this linked, I have it saved as a favorite on my toolbar, you'll see it right here. I would highly recommend doing the same thing. Um, I think it's important to have this website kind of at your fingertips. Once you're there, you'll put in your username and password and click Submit. Your screen will look like this. The next thing you will do is go to Manage Test Sessions. And then you will click on this blue button that says Test My Class. Now right now, I don't have a, a class to test, so I need to go to Find Students to Test. The method that I'm going to use to find students is also the method that you could use if you were teaching um, or proctoring students from multiple grade levels. Let's say that you are pulling kids to do um, makeups and you don't have a class. You can pull kids from kindergarten, first, second, third. Some can be taking the reading, some can be taking the math, and I can show you how to do all that. But um, if you're pulling students from multiple grade levels like I am, you'll click on find students to test. If not, Test My Class will work just fine for you. Once you're here, you'll put in your school. My very good friend, uh, Sam Walter at Blair Elementary, told me I could use his name, so I'm going to use that today. Notice I've got the school, the grade level, and the instructor. That's probably enough to pull up the students that I need to pull up. So today, just for our purposes, I'm just going to click on the first three students, and that's who I'm going to test today. And then I'm going to click Add. Notice they show up down here. I want to do a couple things. The first thing that I want to do is I want to assign a test to these students. So I'm going to click on all three. You can either click on all three or you can use the box at the top. Works the exact same way. And I'm going to assign a test to them. I'm going to assign them to take the reading two through five common core and I'm going to click assign. Now when these students go in and put in their name into the testing session on their Chromebook, the test is automatically going to be selected for them. This takes away a huge margin of error for you as a teacher. I know that you're still going to go around and you're still going to check the screens and you're still going to make sure that they're all taking the right test, but sometimes things get missed. Sometimes kids click on the wrong thing. Sometimes we're so busy with getting the test started that we might accidentally let a student take the wrong test. If you choose the test for them before your session starts, they're all ready to go. You don't have to worry about that piece of it. Another thing that I found um, that can make this a little bit easier is to save your session for a later use. When you save it, you get to name it. So instead of your test session being something like Marsh 6257, that's really hard for the kids to type in, you can save your session and call it whatever you want. Let's say you want to call it AA. You can click Save and Exit, and it will save that session for you. So now when I go in, and I'm ready to test my class, I'm going to click Show under Save Testing Sessions. You'll notice down here, there's the test session that I just created, that AA test session. And then I'm going to click Test Now. You'll see my students are up, they're ready to go, they're awaiting um, logging in and confirming and all that stuff, and their test is all assigned to them. Like I set up here, having the kids type in AA as a test session name is a lot easier than having them type in something longer that has letters and numbers and then there would be the session password that they would use. When I'm done, I would click End Testing Session, and I would save and exit that. Those are just some of the tips and tricks that I found that helped make NWEA testing with my class pretty seamless. Please let me know if you have any other great tips for us to share across the district, and um, good luck, happy testing.